How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and of course team of the season it has come out All right, it has come out and of course everybody has a lot of questions on what everything really means Okay, so here we go. All right, and it's really it's great action here And this is what we start with all right, so here it is the team of the season All right, so of course the NHL players this is for North America only this week. Nathan McKinnon, Brad Marchand, Jack Eichel, Quinn Hughes, Kale McCarr, and Connor Hellebuck, okay? Then we have the Adam Beckman, Jarvis, Cousins, Cotton, and Willie with Wolf, all right? All right, so that's those are some of them right there. There's some more here, though, of course. The Ellis, Robert, Konanov, Kovanov, I'm not sure, Poirier, uh, Villeneuve, Lafreniere, of course, Perfetti, Rossi, Tomasino, uh, Merkley, Ho Hofermeyer, Dawes. I, I, I'm, again, guys, I am not great at pronouncing names. I'll be real with you, I'm not. Uh, but those are some of the team of the seasons. And then the prime times were also very, very good that came out tonight. 99 Kucherov now in the game. His team of the year goes up, of course. 97 prime time Barzell, 96 Hedman's excellent. 95 Zabinijad, Holstrom, Krug, Kachuk, D'Angelo, Suter, Keith. Hoenquist, Kovalchuk, and some other prime times right here. Saros, Quick, Nilsson, Lindvall, Norbe, and Everberg. Yeah, these packs are out, of course. Not the greatest packs, typically, but you know what? There they are, of course. Uh, I'm going to quickly go over something very, very important, though, guys. All right? So now on your screen, as you can see, this is from a developer himself from EA. All right? So... The explanation for this event is we are making an effort to highlight players having exceptional years from all communities of hockey. The NHL group that we selected is a group of players who have had great seasons and have not been recognized in previous events for their efforts. Of course arguments can be made for other players who are having great seasons, but we decided that this group deserved recognition for what they have done this season. The group was selected because each player has shown they are among the top in the league for different reasons. For example, McCarr and Hughes are doing something we have not seen from the two young defensemen in the NHL ever before. Okay, The CHL players were selected based on their performance in their respective leagues and the fact that we are trying to develop a more dynamic base of players using game. These young players may not uh, all be known as household names, but they are showing that they are exceptional in their own league and have potential to grow into household names over the next few years. Once again, with junior players, it will be personal opinion on who is the best, but this group is determined to be the group of players having a great year and helping their teams also have impressive seasons. The cards are EVO and have high synergies which make them stand out and hold value against other events we have done. Overall, the entire community of hockey is in a great place with young and old talent showcasing themselves in many leagues across the world. We wanted to make an effort to highlight the entire hockey community. So there you go, okay? So that's the explanation of why you know certain cards were selected, of course. Um, I do I do I agree? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's I think it's a pretty good selection I'm gonna actually now go to the collection though guys. I'm gonna kind of go over the, the NHL players especially uh, Where are they? Of course, they're not here uh, That is unlucky and the regular NHL collection. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go through them all It's going to be Boston's first Brad Marchand. Here we go 97 overall team of the year. Great synergies. WC, SP, DK, and AD. Absolutely phenomenal card. Really not much else you can say about that. Excellent, excellent card. Uh, that's just great. I mean, 99 speed. 5.9 though. Again, that's not a card I'd be like, wow, let me go get. I mean, his size a little, a little concerning. Uh, but of course, the best one though from all the cards today is the 99 overall Nathan McKinnon. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this guy at all. Of course, he's the most valuable one, most expensive one right now. He's got TNX, 1T, and WC. I mean, look at the look, look at the guy's stats. I mean, 99s across the board except for slap shot accuracy being 98, but that's an easy fix, obviously with TN. Uh, very, very good card. 90 face-offs even. You could use them at center. That's really a rare thing for a Nathan McKinnon card. If you have FB, it'd be uh, 93 face-offs as well. So, yeah, very, very good card on Nathan McKinnon. That's for sure. Then we have next the... It is going to be... Let me just try to think here logically. It is going to be Vancouver. Quinn Hughes, of course. All right, I passed Cal McCarr. I mean, but that's okay. We'll go to Quinn Hughes now. All right, Quinn Hughes, 94 overall edition. There you go, 5'10", 170, SP, RS, FB, and NP. I mean, 
Quinn Hughes, again, the only thing I'd really say about him is simply his size. I mean, besides that, he's very, very good, of course. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely very good. Uh, the, my, since we're already down here now, might as well go look at the Hellebuck, of course. Uh, here we go. Winnipeg. I mean, it's a goalie, right? So it's not anything too special. But uh, we're going to look at him anyway. What is his, his height again? I don't think it's that bad, actually, Hellebuck. He is 6'4", 81 aggression. This could be actually a really good card. 1T, WC, TK, SP. Even if it doesn't really perform well in game, it's still excellent stats uh, on this card. Definitely recommend Hellebuck. Actually, he's a good goalie. He looks good. He definitely does. Uh, so there's Hellebuck, absolutely. And now we're going to go back. We're going to look at Eichel. And we're going to look at the Kale Makar, okay? So here we go. And we got... Makar, I can't believe I actually passed Makar after looking at McKinnon. I'm really just, uh, I'm a Papega, what can I say? Uh, Makar, BL, 1T, TK, and WK, 5'11", 187. Definitely good. Another card, though, that I'd say, you know, on defense, 5'11's a little questionable. You gotta be at least 6 feet, 6'1", maybe. Uh, but... Definitely not a bad card. I'm not saying if I got my car, like, untreatable, like, wow, I'm not using it. Of course, I'd use this car. It's definitely a good sh good car, good shot, and all that good stuff. Uh, so there's a Kale McCarr right there. And now, last but not least, Jack Eichel, 97 overall. Eichel's a great building game. That I gotta say right now. He's a card that I, I would think is actually a good one to pick up. So he's got TK2, FB2, BM2, and HH2. Synergy's a little questionable on him, but, uh, I mean, what can you really say about this card? 99 speed, 98 wrist shot accuracy, 94 face-offs, 97 with FB. That is very, very good, guys. Uh, Jack was a phenomenal card, and those are the team of the season cards. Now, I have to ask you guys this, though. What do you think of the team of the season event? Do you guys think it was good? That's my question. But now, without further ado... The biggest set of the year, the biggest pull of the year now, guys, for me. Here it is. Okay, all right. It's gotta be McKinnon, dude. It's gotta be McKinnon! Please! Please! All right, we're gonna get... All right, at worst, at worst, we got Marshan. That's at worst. That's at worst. That's our worst. And we're a champion! Let's go! Nathan McKinnon! So there you go, guys. We got pretty lucky with that. The Nathan McKinnon. And you're probably questioning, Henrique, are you going to use it? Are you going to use it? Well, Henrique has an answer for you. Henrique is not going to use it. Henrique just sold it for $1.25 million. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So now I have a ton of coins again. Uh... The thing is with McKinnon, I mean, I could use a righty, but I don't think it's worth having someone that's 1.25 mil worth uh, on my team. I just think it's better to spread the coins around. And uh, yeah, that is that was my move, my my idea. Uh, I used the 22 gold collectibles that I had untradeable, so I made you know again like 1.2 mil. I think that's worth it. I really do think it's worth it. So let's check it out right now, guys. Let's see how many coins I exactly have. Uh, <laughs> I had 440k, and now I have. 1.6 million coins, guys. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. We're happy with our coin total right now. I don't have to make any additions. I will, but my team is actually really, really good right now. Uh, I mean, again, I could have them, but like I still have 98 OV and 95 Lemieux for my rise. I mean, it's not like it's bad, that's for sure. My team is very, very good right now. So again, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I really want your thoughts on the event. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, 14, Henrik TV. Uh, Twitter is Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the stream as always. And I'll see you all in the next video.